welcome to the channel i am so hyped up today because i am just so happy my energy is like up here um i feel good about myself i'm i'm i'm, I'm literally just happy i'm genuinely happy and one of the reason has to do with the fact that i mm -hmm, i relax my hair yes yes and the high buns are back natural hair community is very toxic toxic okay <laughs> yeah listen um <laughs> okay natural hair community is very toxic <laughs> it's very toxic okay. and i tried it for i think it was around six slash seven years i i tried it and it was just not for me i tried to force myself i tried to force myself to love my hair to make it work it it's just not for me it didn't do that for me all it did was just like it brought out a lot of insecurities and i just hated dealing with it i hated the enormous amount of hours just putting up with pain it was really hard like having to do my hair every time i had to do my hair it was just a hassle like i really hated it um, I'm okay with natural hair. I love natural hair, but only when it's like short and I get to like just like um, what 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 is the word? I don't know. If I can find an older picture of me with that style, I'm gonna find it and I'm gonna insert it somewhere up here. But my hair was a little bit longer and I just couldn't like wash and go without it looking weird. So I hated that. So I found myself gravitating towards eco styling gel the whole time because i was just doing like slick buns slick buns all the time and it was just painful my hair was like breaking i was always in pain i had to like pull it really tight so that i looked very nice and sleek i wasn't just happy like i wasn't like going out in my natural hair like in its natural state anymore because I just didn't recognize myself. Every time I look myself in the mirror, I'm just like, no, this this ain't it. I am not really a fan of wigs. I hate with passion. I should say I hate wigs. Um, they're just not for me. I I have them. I wear them here and there twice, thrice a year. They are just not for me. They just don't do it for me. I feel very fake, so to say. Um and I was just tired of everything. And I remember uh, I was I was <laughs> I was just like in this constant fight. Like, should I relax my hair or should I just like embrace my natural hair? Like, you know, natural hair community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Natural girls. You know, yeah, being natural and so on. I tried so hard for the longest time. I was just like, man, dragging on this whole thing of having natural hair. I was just like, okay, do you know what? I'm just gonna give it like a month i'm gonna give it a try i'm gonna do my hair i'm gonna do this i'm gonna try to just do everything but when coming to washing my hair i don't have enough time to spend you know hours pre-pooing and all those kind of stuff um conditioning for hours i do not have time for that like i do not have time i only have like 30 minutes to wash my hair to an hour to do everything and get back to my daily routines and it was just taking up so much time i didn't have the patience in me it left it left um yeah so i remember there was a time uh actually there was something that stood out for me it was a time that i had to leave the house i had an important appointment like it was actually a meeting very important that i couldn't even like afford to miss it but my hair was all the way up there my hair was all over the place couldn't get it to look how i wanted it to look and how my hair was starting to make me feel my confidence was just like leaving the room i just hated how it looked i i missed the appointment because i couldn't leave the house with my hair looking the way it was looking it took me over two hours just trying to perfect it but i could just never bring it to look how i wanted it to look because i i i actually didn't even know how i wanted it to look like but i knew that there was a wake-up call for me to relax my hair it's still my hair and it's still gonna grow back it's um 
it's just hair it will grow back <sighs> there are people who are struggling a lot and you are here trying to go on like you know you cannot like do anything to your hair because that is your crown like to me mm, nah, um, it's not that it's not that I relax my hair and it has been the best decision ever it has been the best decision if I I dance every day every day when it takes me five minutes to do my hair like I throw my hair in a high bun like this one or or like the one behind like a low bun one like I, I do that and I'm done and I'm you know I'm through the door I'm gone I do not waste time and I feel like I look very beautiful I feel like I look very pretty and I have so much confidence in presenting me to the world instead of just like shrinking the whole time thinking that man I don't look good I don't I don't look good and for what just because you're trying to save your natural hair and I was so much invested into this whole natural hair community for so long I watch a lot of like um, natural hair um, gurus and I was just like man you know if I can only get my hair to look like that okay so buying <laughs> expensive products like my bathroom right now the our bathroom cabinet is like I have two like full of natural hair products because I kept on running from one to the other I'll watch another video and somebody will um, I'm feeling I'm feeling I'm feeling yeah I, I was just going through different products that people were recommending and I will even like convince myself that you know what this is the right product for you just try it and I will try it and my hair is just like mm -mm, saying no no I'm, I'm just not having it I decided to go to my local beauty shop I bought the hair relaxer I came home I relaxed my hair and that was it to be quite honest um, I stopped listening to people. People were like, oh no, your hair will break. Don't do it. Well, it's just hair. Like, I can go bald if I want to. It's just hair. It will grow back. And if it doesn't, it's okay. It's just hair. Obviously, that is just me and my opinion. If you are the kind of person who takes so much pride in your hair and that you want to just keep it in its natural, uh, you know, state, then, then it's okay that's good for you sis just just do that but for me i'm i'm so done i relax my hair and it has been the best decision ever i do not regret it and i'm gonna continue doing this and if i get tired of it then i'm gonna cut it it's 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 you only have one life to live you might as well just explore all the options that you have just just try you cannot be a prisoner of the natural hair community you cannot do that um i've been that person for so long i wasted a lot of money i just i wasted so much time it didn't help me it didn't help me at all it just like broke me like slowly um i'm so happy right now i'm in a better place if I'm actually in a good place not a better place I'm in a very good place I'm, I'm just so happy I make a happy dance every time I have to like get ready and go out and my husband doesn't have to complain that oh my god you are taking two to three hours to get ready you have been out this time da, 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 da. And right now I'm just like you know what I'm day in five and I'm out through the door and I look good I'm confident I'm happy so uh oh be scared like just just be spontaneous do something it's just hair explore like your head like do a whole bunch of stuff you know put color in it whatever you want to do texturize it whatever cut it put heat in it it's just it's just hair it's gonna grow it's just hair and if it doesn't grow then it's okay